Hello, this is Lance Cleveland. I'm going to show you how to create categorized locations that each have their own map marker. I'm using that with Store Locator Plus on our South Carolina ice cream site to show you the locations that we have visited and the locations that are on our list to visit. You can see that here on this map with different icons. They're set by the categories that are assigned. These other markers are what are called cluster map markers. That is available in the Premier version of the WordPress plugins or if you're using the enterprise level service with Maestro Locator Plus. To get started with Maestro Locator Plus, you want to go to Advanced Options and Categories. In the WordPress plugins, it'll just be under the Store Locator Plus menu. You will need to have the power add-on for WordPress or the power or higher level of service with the MyStore Locator Plus service. Go to the Categories tab and on Categories the first stop you're going to want to make is to go to the um, Taxonomy section and at the bottom you'll see Manage. Now I've already added my categories. If you haven't added categories yet you won't see this list at the bottom of the categories that have been assigned. You'll just see the link for Category Manager. You'll want to click on Category Manager. You're going to type in the name of the category. Now in my case I have uh, Parent and Children categories here. So that's uh, why we have uh, different ones here. And I'm only using Pending and Visited. So what you do is you just type in the name of the category, Pending for example. And if you scroll down you can set the map marker here. And I've set my map markers as you can see. Pending are the gray markers, visited are the yellow markers. So once you've assigned your categories or you created your categories, you can then assign them to locations. I'm going to go to Advanced Options in this case under Locations and edit the first location on the list. And you'll see that there's a list of categories on the screen that will let me set which categories are assigned. Depending which category I select will change what map marker is shown on the map. Now, depending how wide your screen in this layout may be a little bit different. The categories list sometimes can uh, appear at the bottom here. Uh, also, because the map won't be rendering, things will shift around a little bit if you're adding a new location. So you just set the different categories. Another way you can set categories is you can come down the list here and pick the categories for things that you have visited for example. I'll just check off some of the ones we've visited and go to bulk actions, categorize, pick visited and then click apply to apply to just the checked items. So I've already done that now with these locations. I can go to Maestro Locator Plus, I can go to generate embed. This is for Maestro Locator Plus only by the way you won't have this inside of WordPress plugins and you will see an example of the map. This is how it renders locally, so you can check to make your settings are accurate. You can see the locations we visited and the locations on our list based on the categories that have been assigned. Now I'm not showing the visited or pending um, on my output here. That This is using the ice cream um, plugin style and that specifically leaves off the category list just to keep the interface a little simpler, a little cleaner. In a future video I'll show you how to add a legend that lets you show what markers are assigned and what these mean. So I'll do that in another video. But that's how you assign categories with Maestro Locator Plus. As always, thank you for supporting Store Locator Plus. Thanks for watching.